Street art is taking a platform, giving it to the public for free, so we can all enjoy it as equals. It's about sharing ideas in an open source, absolutely no judgment, without galleries telling us what to do, how to do it. So street art essentially is absolute and complete freedom for an artist. If the wall was damaged, if the wall looked, if the wall looked bad, if it needed some TLC, I would go and paint it, but if it, was, if it was a clean bit of wall, I probably wouldn't be interested. I started cutting out stencils when I was 12, and I'm 29 now, so I've been doing it for 17 years. So somebody of my age, that's quite an accreditation. I think it's interesting to find spaces that people don't really care about. So I gave it a go, I started cutting out stencils, and then I started spraying stencils up. Uh, I started spraying them on my mum's door. She let me, by the way. Um, and then I started spraying them outside of that door and started spraying them in the street. And she didn't know about that. Well, this area is very multicultural, so I wanted to create something that everybody could enjoy. The flowers, everything else. She's a queen. She's meant to be the queen of Queen's Road. That's what I call her. But it's just meant to be something to inspire and to welcome all people. With tagging, it's considered a dirty art form. But if you think about the caveman, he was nothing more than a prolific tagger himself. It's mark making, and mark making is the basis of all artwork. So people scorn at it, but don't, because although it's vandalism, it's not vandalism, it's art in its own platform. It has no rules, and that's how art should be. It's a, it's, a, it's a communication, this is a conversation. It's not just a bit of art or a bit of graffiti or vandalism, neither is that, this is a communication. We're all doing the same thing, just in our own way. Architecture is, is a natural frame for street art, so, you know, if I, was, if I was wanting to, I could keep it going and I might just do that. The wall speaks for itself. It's just an extension of the artwork. And if you're a good artist and you have a keen eye, you should be able to do that. It can be a joke. You can play tricks. You know, it can be a very playful thing. But I think it can also be quite a special thing. It can be such a platform to inspire and to show people how beautiful the world can actually be. So I, I take it from that element, really. Although I do like to have a joke now and then. But yeah, people can, take, people can take what they want from street art, you know. You don't have to like it, it's, it's very much in your face, but it's this whole idea of people get offended. You have, the absolutely, you have the right to be offended, but you don't have the right to tell me what to do. I think, you know, if, if you're an artist and you're constantly saying, I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to do this, and then I've done this, and I'm going to do this, it loses its magic. Just do the thing and then reveal and then move on to the next thing, which you're already working on. That's how it should be, in my opinion. I don't like artists that are always talking the talk. Just walk the walk. <laughs> He's a street dog. <laughs> Queen's Road is the one for me. It seems to be an up and coming street. It seems to be a place of, uh, like I say, ethnic diversity, cultural diversity. And uh, there's a lot of good shops as well. And our favourite is charity shops, isn't it, Spike? <laughs> I think that's wrong. I think we should keep together, don't you? She's looking a little bit uh, past her prime. I quite like it, though. I think decay is a really important bit of street art. To get your photo taken, that's the, that's the whole idea. However, not a lot of people actually went for that because I think people are scared. They're scared of doing something outrageous, you know, taking a photo. Come on. So the idea is these are BT boxes and that's a lobster and it's about the idea of it's been, the, the message is being relayed and communicated to create a whole thing. So I like the idea of these nodes are transitioning between each other and then the street arts being put across the platform. Things like that, they really, they really inspire me. You know, they're so badly done, they're beautiful. Yeah, I know, something got bit, didn't it? Not those ones, only single feathers.
You don't take more than you need. I like to use them to fan smudge sticks. <laughs> I've got a few. Yeah. I probably have too many. I don't like to hoard them. So this this comes from an image, which is quite a famous image. It comes from the 50s of a woman riding a bomb. And it's sort of meant to be the beauty of death or whatever, in my opinion. However, uh, I've taken that and I've done the cockroach instead because obviously what comes after the bomb the cockroaches. Now, the interesting thing about stencils is they're negatives, so... So she's sort of riding this cockroach, maybe into battle. The graffiti artists who were doing that before the social media came out, they were true artists, you know, they were true outsider artists. Now, usually what people do is they find abandoned buildings to paint so they can get away with it, but... I've never seen the point of painting an abandoned building because, well, the name suggests that no one's ever actually going to see the artwork. Chiselling off a Banksy is sort of like taking a photograph of the Mona Lisa and trying to sell it. 